راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين We start in the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions, and all of his followers until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new uh, lesson from the series of Tafsir in Zad Academy. And of course, today we are continuing what we started with regarding the books of Tafsir. We already talked about the tafsirs of Al-Imam Ibn Jarir Al-Tabari, Rahimahullah, Al-Imam Ibn Kathir, uh, Rahimahullah, Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi, Rahimahullah, Al-Imam Al-Baghawi, Rahimahullah. And today we are addressing two more books that were dependent upon Al-Ma'thur. So this is called At-Tafsir Bil-Ma'thur, meaning the tafsir that depended upon the reports from the hadith of the Prophet والسلام, and the reports from the companions, the Sahaba Ridwanullahi alayhim, and the Tabi'een and Tabi'u Tabi'een. Today we are talking about a great book um, which is Ad-Durru al-Manthur fi tafsir bil Ma'thur. Ad-Durru al-Manthur is uh, authored by Al-Imam Jalal al-Din ibn Abi Bakr ibn Muhammad Al-Suyuti, Al-Imam Al-Suyuti. And uh, uh, Al-Imam Al-Suyuti died in the year 911. And Al-Imam Al-Suyuti, of course, uh, did uh, a very great book, although he um, also authored some other books in, in Tafsir. Uh, and we have uh, the very famous book, the widely used spread, which is Tafsir al-Jalalain, meaning Jalaluddin al-Suyuti and Jalaluddin al-Muhalla. Now Jalaluddin al-Muhalla started and then did not complete uh, the uh, uh, summary of the uh, book uh, Tafsir al-Jalalain. And then uh, Al-Imam al-Suyuti came in and, and completed that and that's why it's called Tafsir al-Jalalain, meaning Jalal al-Din uh, al-Muhalla and Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti. So uh, Imam al-Suyuti, rahimahullah, is one of the great authors of, uh, of Tafsir. And his methodology in Tafsir is to bring all the reports from al-Salaf, rahimahumullah, uh, without any verification um, or amendment to whatever reports he found in the earlier books of tafsir and does not did not even uh, 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 comment on the weakness of some of the reports in fact he he would sometimes fall into into uh, uh, some some issues here regarding uh, carrying things that are weak and not um, authentic and what he depended on was the books of hadith by Al-Imam Al-Bukhari, Al-Imam Muslim, Al-Imam Ahmad, Al-Imam Al-Tirmidhi, Al-Imam Abi Dawood, Al-Imam Al-Darimi, even, even uh, some uh, uh, other uh, authors uh, and books of, of hadith. So Al-Imam Al-Suyuti actually uh, wrote all of this, mashallah, and he, uh, he did a great tafsir, and of course, in order to uh, serve, as I said uh, before, 
in the in in the earlier episode that there are some uh, students of knowledge or scholars in 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 this contemporary time where they would go ahead and review and edit and uh, authenticate the reports uh, in these uh, great books of uh, uh, Islamic knowledge, uh, whether in tafsir, in hadith, in aqidah, uh, in fiqh, uh, in other books. Uh, and and Siyuti was served, alhamdulillah, by uh, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah at turki who actually reviewed and edited uh, the book, uh, his, his, his tafsir, Ad-Durr al-Manthur, fi uh, tafsiri uh, bil-Ma'thur, and he, uh, mashallah, uh, gave a good, a good work in this regard. And that's why, alhamdulillah, in, in modern times we have this service being offered and given by uh, some students of knowledge, some scholars who actually wanted to review and to make sure that these ahadith are uh, authenticated, substantiated, uh, they made sure that these ahadith are correct. Of course, what is uh, what was reported in al-Bukhari and Muslim, uh, mashallah, was, 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 was good and authentic. Um, although some scholars, they would have some observations and remarks regarding some ahadith. But uh, there are some other books of, uh, uh, of hadith that you need to verify. You need to, to verify uh, their authenticity and their degree. You know, they could be sahih, um, uh, they could be غير um, sahih, uh, authentic, non-authentic, all the degree would be good, uh, uh, sound, uh, would be hasan, and, and hasan li nafsihi, hasan li ghayrihi. And of course, it, when you study that in, in the science of hadith, you'd know the various degrees of hadith. This is, this is important, and we need it in all fields of knowledge, not only in hadith, but we use it, we carry it on to uh, the books of tafsir, the books of aqidah, the book of uh, uh, fiqh, and so on. Uh, now, regarding, uh, as I said, the, the methodology of al-imam uh, al-suyuti, rahimahullah, we found a great um, work that we, we benefit very much from, mashallah, besides the other uh, uh, brother books, that we, uh, we found uh, and we talked about earlier. Uh, regarding the activity for this lesson, uh, uh, what is required of you is to write uh, a, a brief report about the tafsir of al-Baghawi and al-Imam al-Suyuti, rahimahumullah, and you compare between the two. What do you think of al-Imam al-Baghawi, which we talked about earlier before? Remember we said that he summarized a book by al thalabi and Al-Imam Al-Suyuti, Rahimahullah, who again uh, uh, is having this great book, Ad-Durr Al-Manthur. So how do you compare the two? And then uh, another activity is to uh, give us uh, some of the main points regarding Tafsir Ad-Durr Al-Manthur. What are your remarks regarding a Tafsir uh, Ad-Durr Al-Manthur? So this uh, brings us to the end of, of uh, talking about Ad-Dur al-Manthur. Second um, uh, book today we are addressing is Fath uh, al-Qadir uh, by Al-Imam al-Shawkani. The author is Al-Imam Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Muhammad ibn Abdullah al-Shawkani from, from Yemen. He died in the year 1250 of Hijra, rahimahullah. His methodology in his book was he would uh, uh, make tafsir of the ayah uh, from a, a linguistic uh, background, mashallah. He uh, really talked um, very widely about uh, uh, the linguistic meaning of the ayah and whether it's, it's, uh, uh, it's good, it's fasih or non-fasih, meaning if it's uh, authentic Arabic or not. And then he would um, talk about grammar. And of course, grammar is very, very important. You know, it's essential in, in studying any field of science, particularly when you talk about the Quran and Hadith, how you need to uh, understand the grammar, where is the fi'il, where is the fa'il, where is al-maf'ul bihi, and so on and so forth. And of course, in the Arabic 
uh, lessons, you'd, you'd, you'd know uh, more about this because it is going to affect the meaning. And uh, this, is, this is good. <laughs> you know, if some people would read, for example, the ayah, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ How would that be wrong? Actually, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ So Allah mentioned uh, his glorious name first as uh, in this ayah, uh, as the khashya is, is from Allah. Not Allah is the one who is making the khashya or who is um, uh, fearful of, of his own servants. It's the opposite. So it's very important in this. And also uh, look at the ilm al-qira'at, the modes of recitation, how this ayah was recited here, because every recitation would add a meaning, sometimes the same meaning would enhance uh, the other uh, modes of recitations, or sometimes different. And then he would talk about the various uh, differences among the scholars of fiqh regarding uh, the meaning of the ayah and what it entails. And he would even uh, discuss the evidences and he would um, choose a particular uh, side here and there and with, with evidences. So mashallah, with his very um, well-versed uh, uh, knowledge, mashallah, Sheikh. Uh, as Shawkani actually discussed all these issues. So he combined both ilmu riwayah and ilmu diraya, riwayah from the Salaf and diraya by looking himself into the evidences and uh, the discussion and uh, even choosing one side over the other with evidences, not by on his own opinion, rather he would say, I would choose this opinion because of such and such and such. So. MashaAllah, that is the work of great scholars, and we can find that by Al-Imam Shawkani. Although Al-Imam Shawkani, again, he, um, he sometimes would not verify some of the reports in his books, uh, and he would choose um, strange opinions or opinions that is uh, based uh, on, on, on or coming from uh, some deviant groups. But that's very rare in his book by MashaAllah, because he is a Salafi in his own aqidah, mashallah, and he uh, actually refuted many of the sayings of al-Mu'tazila in his, in his own book. And, in, and of course, I'm, I'm throwing lots of, of, of terms here, and uh, you have to understand that when you're discussing the issues of, uh, of tafsir and, and, and other fields of Islamic knowledge. Now, the activities of this book uh, are two, uh, from reading uh, outside, uh, write uh, a brief report on the book Fath al-Qadir in Tafsir. Uh, I think they're asking you to summarize it in two lines, so you can do that. And it's, it's very easy and very simple. And from what you studied, uh, what are some of the important books of Tafsir and what distinguishes each one of them? So that is a good exercise because it lets you go and review all the six books that we talked about uh, of a tafsir bil ma'thur. And then what do you think uh, these, uh, these books uh, are distinguished from each other by what? That is a good, a good exercise and that's why I think it's going to um, make you learn more and you know, enhance your knowledge in the fields of tafsir regarding these great books that were authored by great scholars رحمهم الله جميعا وغفر لهم وتقبل منهم ونفعنا بعلمهم إنه سميع مجيب وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم تقنياته ومجالاته ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية
للعلم كالأزهار في البستان